I wasn't sure I was even going to make this video because it's such a simple thing. I'm replacing the drive, or I'm adding a new drive to my DS918 Plus Synology NAS, and it's all of a 30 second process, pretty much. It takes a long time to initialize and add it to the storage pool, but the process itself is super simple. Sometimes it's the simple stuff that gets us, right? So I thought I'd just show you a quick little video about doing that. So let's get on to it. Deep in the recesses of the closet is my Synology NAS, my DS918 Plus, and I only have three of the four drive bays filled, and I have a fourth drive now here to add to this. All right, so we're going to throw in another Western Digital Red two terabyte drive. It should give us about uh, we're at three, maybe about five terabytes of usable storage space. All right, let's get this thing installed. All right, this one's not locked, so we'll throw this one in here. And we can see on here the dirt that's amassed on here, the dust. It's not too bad inside. Not too bad inside there. Hard to see that. All right, let's put the drive in here. Stick it in that guy right there. Make sure it's seated. Take our little snaps. Snap it in. Hold it in place, we hope. Okay, that's all snapped in place. Drives in the drive bay. And in we go. This is hot swappable, so we can just slide it on in. Okay, we're gonna lock it so no one can rip it out. All right, all four drives are in, all four drive bays are with stuff. And now let's go expand it out. So to add our new drive, we're going to go to the storage manager. And we see that we have one unused drive. And we have three used drives. I'm using RAID 5 with data protection, currently with a capacity of 3.6 terabytes. So what I'm going to do is go to my storage pool. And I am going to add a drive. And that's going to be my new drive right here. And this is going to, of course, erase all the data on that drive. But it's the new drive we verified looking over here as drive one. And OK. And we're going to apply this. And this will take some time like a lot of time. So you can see now that it's doing its thing here. And like I said, this will take, it just depends on the size of the drive. Um, we're expanding the storage pool, adding the drive. If you can shut down processes to speed things up, then do so. Um, right now, I'm looking at 29% CPU, 37% drive, but what we're not looking at is actually the I.O. of the drive system, so that may be higher. Anyway, this will take um, hours to days, so we'll let that run, and we'll come back later on. The next day. Well, it's been over uh, overnight and it's finally finished. So now I have 5.44 terabytes of available capacity or total capacity. And all of my drives are normal and healthy, including the new one. 
I'm using 2.1 terabytes out of my 5.2 terabytes, so that's all good. I am monitoring um, the state of my drives in my Home Assistant dashboard using the Synology integration. So if I go to configuration, integrations, and I find the Synology, I see that I have six devices, including my new drive. Drive one is the new one. Uh, if I click on that, I have one disabled entity, which I need to turn on. So I'll click on that, enable that entity, update. I want to see my drive status. So let's do, uh, let's find drive one or drive two. So here's sensor Synology drive one status and drive two status, drive three status, drive four status. So over on my dashboard, I'm looking at my status for each of my drives. So under Visual Studio Code, I will add an entity called, and actually these names are wrong, I've just realized. Oops, copy that, and I will put that right above here to be in order. So this is drive one status, and I'm gonna change the names on the rest of these. Drive two state, drive three state, and drive four state. Control S to save and go back over to my dashboard and refresh that. Now I have all four of my drive state status set up. In addition, you can see that I have 2.06 terabytes used. I need to up that to, what did I say I had here? Uh, I now have 5.2 terabytes as my upper end. So back in Visual Studio Code, I have a sensor, a gauge, uh, card and it is set to 3.48 and I need to set it to 5.2 so let's go with 5.2 usable 5.2 and then I also have my thresholds 0 to 2.5 is good 2.5 to 3 is yellow and 3 and above is red so let's just up that to arbitrary numbers of 0 to um, Four is um, green, how about 3.5? Zero to 3.5 is green, 3.5 to 4.5 is going to be red, anything above, or yellow, anything above 4.5 is going to be red. We will save that as well. Come back over to my dashboard, refresh that, and the gauge should actually drop back. So we're less than halfway use on our space here. That's it. We have a drive installed and we have our dashboard updated to monitor the status and to also uh, give me a visual indication of my space used. When editing this video, I realized how dirty and dusty the uh, floor was where the NAS is sitting. It's not sitting directly on carpet, but it's just above the carpet. That's going to shorten the lifespan of the unit after a while because it's going to be full of dirt and dust. So I need to move that to some other place so it's not sitting directly on the floor. You've probably seen other videos where people talk about how dirty it is to be setting computer equipment down like that. So I'll take care of that. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a super short little simple task of just putting in some, uh, some extra storage. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and the bell icon if you want to be notified when I make new videos. And we will see you on the next one.